Okay, hello everybody, this is Matt uh, with Omega 14 Games, and today I'm going to be organizing Twilight Imperium. It's, uh, we're playing a game in a couple weeks, uh, with a six, six player game in a couple weeks, and my copy is what we're going to be using, and it is uh, completely uh, disorganized since the last time we played. I haven't touched it, so today I'm going to lay everything out on the table, get all the races, uh, set up, uh, take out what we're not using, uh, add in just the variants that we are. Um, basically get all the components ready to play. And so half of this is going to be laying it out on the table, and then half is going to be kind of adding or removing variants depending on uh, what we've chosen to play. And I'll talk about them as it goes. This is going to be kind of a quiet video. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of talking. I'm going to be doing a lot of organizing and I'll pop in with information when it becomes uh, necessary. Uh, and then lastly, I'm going to be photographing uh, this game kind of set up on the table. Uh, I'm taking photos for our website, going to get some nice high quality pictures of the game, things like that. And so I'm going to be doing that after it's set up too. And we'll get this video posted to YouTube. Also, so we can start adding some content to our YouTube channel. Anyways, so let's start with the races. Let's the races laid out. There should be, I think, 16 or 17 races. Uh, that's including everything. Uh, we're not going to be playing with the Lazax. That race is just for Fall of the Empire variant in the, um, in the Shards of the Throne. Uh, expansion. So I'm going to be using both tables for this because I kind of need to. Uh, I also need to pick out the races that people have chosen. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be doing that because I don't know what everyone has chosen yet. I know what m some people have. Actually, uh, I don't worry about that now. After this uh, video is done being recorded for YouTube, I'm going to be um, announcing that I'm streaming, so people can hop on and chat with me while doing that. So I think I have all the races here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 races all in all. I don't see the Lazax, so I'm assuming. But there's seven out oh, no, there. They are in the box. Come on now, get out of here. So this race, actually, let me just do it this way. This race, the Lazax, is the one we're not going to be using. Like I said, because it is involves a specific scenario uh, that we're not going to be playing with. Okay. So we have all the races here, which is good. There, I'm gonna put the things I'm not using on that table so far. Okay. So now, uh, now it's time to get all of the bags for each race out onto the table and make sure all the bags have everything we need in them. This is going to be one of the biggest parts of the organization. Because there's, there's a few or a few different things we need to worry about here. We need to worry about uh, everyone has all of the correct starting systems. We need to worry that everyone has like the flagship cards, um, technologies, their racial technologies, and their leaders. The leaders are going to be a big one because I didn't play with them last time. We didn't play with the leaders last time, so they're kind of just floating around the box. So we need to get all that sorted out. So that whichever race people picked, we will have the bag ready for them to go.
Oh, and this, which is pretty awesome, this is the race of gold ships. Uh, these ships are what the winner of last game are going to be using. Whoever wins the previous game gets the gold ships for the next match. And that person was Joseph. So he will be using the gold ships this time. Okay, I think I might have all the bag race bags out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm missing two. There's 16. And where is the last one? There should be 17 races. Seventeen races to pick from, and I only see some. 16, oh, the universities of Joel Nar include their miniatures in the bag, so that's all seventeen. playing with this one because full disclosure this is the race one of the options that I was chosen for me and I decided I was pick that one but we'll use this one as a good template to get get the variants sorted out so the things that are needed are these trade contracts these trade contracts are what we're going to be using to trade back and forth with each other. Uh, these, which these are the racial technologies. Your starting system, a reference card, and a flagship. So the things that are missing here are the leaders, and the leaders are in this bag. The leaders can either be um, saboteurs, I think is the is the type. They can either be saboteurs, they can be admirals, they can be generals, they can be diplomats or scientists. So each race is going to have a different um, mixture of those three of uh, three of a mixture of those, depending on the race. So this one actually looks all put together. So we get the leaders. The tokens, the starting system, the trade agreements, the racial tech, the flagship, and a reference card. So this is exactly what I want to see for every race. So with that back. So put that back. And then we'll mimic that for the other 16. And then we should have most of our work done. So, Necrovirus is finished. Let's do the Lazaks are not going to be part of this. So these can go away. Let's do the Emirates of Hot or Hassan.
Alright, so ha ha I'm gonna say Hassan for the time being. They start with three systems, which is pretty sweet. They have their two trade agreements, their ship, their racial text, and their starting, uh, or their unit thing. There is the starting tile, and then they have their three leaders. So we are good with the Hassan. It's the Necrovirus. Yes. So, we're going to go like this. This is going to up probably the good stuff we're going to put in box I have a feeling I'm going to go over the 10 minute YouTube limit, but whatever, we'll see if we can put uh, something longer. I don't see what we can't. That, has, that rule has to have changed by now. Oh. Alright, now we have the Sardok Nor. Let's see, we got the Star Planets. We have their. They have three racial technologies. Interesting, I've only seen two with other races. Trade agreements, they have their flagship, and then they have their three leaders. Admiral and two generals. I wonder why they have three racial technologies, and everyone else so far I've encountered has two. Uh, Alright, we are on to the Clan of Sar. I'm not sure if these have been picked. I dealt out 12 races at random out to, out to 6 people, so everyone got 2 each. That left 5 races that were unchosen. These people have two racial techs, there's a trade, there's that, and then they start on asteroids, which is pretty cool. Uh, Lysis and Rach. Okay, so there's that, and then they have their three leaders. I'm not going to bother taking all the flags and crap out, since clearly there's everything there. Most of these is just double checking, except for the races we played with last time. That is what's going to require more... Uh, uh, more <laughs> pieces down, things like that. Okay, let's do the Federation of Soul. These are the people I was the first time to play. So Soul. If they're two racial texts, starting planet, that trade agreements thing, and then I see three leaders, so these guys are good. Hopefully I won't run out of hard drive space on my computer either. We'll see. Alright, now we're on to the Brotherhood of Yin. No, the Yin Brotherhood is what I was the first time. I think I was deciding to do that for the Federation of Soul. Alright, they have Fanaticism and the Yin Spinner. Interesting. You can build a free ground force whenever you build units out of space time. Okay, so everything's here for them. Okay, so in the interest of um, entertainment value for this video, I'm going to switch between just, just doing all these other races because that's just doing the same repetitive thing for another 12 races and I'm going to organize all of this shit, all of these cards and loose stuff in the box because it's ridiculous and this is half of the reason why I am here today so I'm going to take care of that. So let's just get going with that. So I'm sure you guys don't want to sit watch me just sit and uh, go through each race. 
So we are playing with uh, facilities. Uh, these are either colonies or refineries, and they either add a production value or influence to the planet that you currently own. You can purchase them if you want. So I'm going to make my pals of those. They're double-sided, which is good. So there's agent cards we're not playing with. I don't even know what agent. Oh, sorry, not agent cards. Agenda cards. There's agenda cards, and then there's treaty cards. I believe. These are only used with the Fall of the Empire scenario, which I've never played with. So we're going to screw that. And not worry about it. So next we have the leader, or the, not the leaders, but the representatives. That's the Rock, Paper, Scissors edition that was made uh, to the game. And the Shards of the Throne expansion, I believe. I played with it once, didn't really like it. It was very, um, it just added a lot of complexity. Too much in my opinion to be worth it, so we're not going to play with that. And neither are we going to play with these promissory notes. These promissory notes are only used with a specific strategy card, which we're not using, so the promissory notes don't matter. Turn the music down a little bit because it doesn't matter. So, where was that? We're not using promissory notes because they add too much complexity to the game. They slow it way down because then you have to start going around and doing this rock, paper, scissors stuff, which in the middle of a long game just makes it longer and, in my opinion, not worth it. So, I'm just making sure we have all, I think it's eight colors before we move on. We have scenario objective cards. Scenario objective cards are another fall of the empire thing that we're not playing with. There's some colonies. Oh boy. Asteroid field, hex tile in here. We have a big D10, which is fun for very um, high tense rolls and things like that. Okay, right, here's public objectives. There's some stuff that we're gonna need. Greedy cards, which we're not going to need. Promissory notes. Special objective cards have to do with the artifacts. We are going to play with artifacts. Those are really awesome uh, static victory points that stay on the map wherever you go. Like, wherever you go, they're going to stay there. So, if you take over a planet that has an artifact on it, you gain a victory point, which is huge, but then. It also paints a target on you because you have to then keep that planet and not have it get uh, ransacked by another player for those victory points. And I think I'm going to try to find a baggie to put these cards in this time because I have had them in that little white thing and that's what I think spilt and got this all over the place. Objectives. Another thing are mercenaries. We're not playing with mercenaries. Mercenaries are stupid. They're just another special, unique unit that gets added to the board. Which is, again, like I say all the time, it adds a complex thing to an already very complex game. So that's why that's not being played. Here are some strategy, these are, uh, the strategy cards we are actually using. I'll go through these strategy cards one by one. Uh, in this. We're already 20 minutes into the video. Holy moly. Alright. So let's speed it up so it doesn't take me all night to do this. Forever sorting representative cards because there's one for each race. <gasps> Preliminary objectives. I see those. We are going to be playing with prelim objectives. 
Preliminary objectives are what you draw before you draw your secret objectives. You start the game with a preliminary objective. They're usually easier to accomplish than the secret objectives. And when you complete your preliminary objective, then and only then are you allowed to draw your secret objective. And here are our refineries. So refineries are the complement to col uh, colonies, which you can build. Which you can build. Um, on your planets to increase either their production or their influence. In the refineries' case, it's the production. I think I'm almost done sorting out all these promissory notes, which is taking up most of the space on the table. This is Cruise, Mercenary, Tree Guard. Objectives. The problem with having all of the expansions, it's insane, basically. That's the problem with it. More mercenaries. Ugh. We're getting close to the bottom, though, which means most of the cards are will have been gone through at that point. Which is pretty handy. Dandy. Treaty card. Promissory notes, they're gray. Public objectives. I think these are the public objectives we didn't draw for the last game, so we got. Because you draw them all at the beginning, and then after you draw them, you kind of discard the rest, and you have your starting public objectives. Okay, the gym does. I have no idea what the gym cards are. We're getting close to the bottom of the box. Look at that. Whatever those guys are, whatever those are, treaty, public objectives. This looks like racial technology for somebody. There, we're starting to get into the some crazy stuff. Another blue promissory note forever with the blue promissory notes. Okay, so what's left in this is artifacts and leaders. And we'll sort those after we get all of these promissory notes and stuff picked up. We have planet cards. Okay. Strategy cards. All right, now for the big. Oh gosh, some shit over here too. Ah. <laughs> Planet. We have the Lizix uh, flagship. We have Mintech stuff. So these are race specific. Let's bust through this big stack, which is a lot of the political cards and the action cards and all the planets. Every planet should be represented here by a singular planet card. I also got to go through those planet cards and make sure that nobody's starting planets is in there. Politics. Politics, politics, politics. So many politics. Action cards. It's going to be a lot more action cards where that came from. Action cards are, I think, the biggest stack in the game. Let's 
Secret Objective. Secret Objective cards are mixed with action cards, which is awesome since their backs are so similar. I didn't do any announcing that I would be streaming, which sucks. take a little break here and announce to the world that we are streaming. Let me actually do it with my phone. Be right back. Planning this very well. Uh, I'm really not planning this very well. I didn't do any kind of tagging or anything like that, but whatever, it's out there. And let's move on to the bigger and better things. Special objective cars is like I said, uh, has to do with the artifacts. Social media, it's not even funny. Fuck that. We have better things to do, like organize a really big game. That we're only going to play once a year. But hey, someone's got to do it. Everyone else gets to reap the benefits of it. Okay. So. Getting closer. I got most of the cards sorted. Let's get the hexes out here. One big hex stack. Happen just like I suspected, because it's going to uncover many, many of these cards that need poems. And there is someone starting system. Aha! Found you! I mean, get rid of a lot of these bags. Last time, 
I separated all the system types into various bags because we we're making a pre-built system and I wanted to build the tiles the day of. Uh, we're not doing that this time. So I don't need a lot of these bags that say, hey, this is the old, the old resource system, things like that. So then we can just draw it at random, which is way cooler. And then there's some other starting system for the Arsil tribes. Regular single systems. Neo. So after I'm done sorting, I'm going to set up the map with some a couple starting units and some figures so I can get some photos of it for use on the website. And then I'm going to set up, uh, well maybe I'll do that tonight or tomorrow, I'll set up Mage Night with a basic map so I can get some photos of that as well. Okay, we found some more cards that are all strewn about. These suckers all gathered up and then see what these are got going on in here. All oh, look like black uh, technology cards. Okay. Let's tokens. Let's, let's finish this stack of cards. At which point, I think we'll be done with the cards. It's more specific. Very specific. like uh, racial technologies for their silk tribes. I'm thinking about watching a movie later, but I'm not sure which one to watch. I'm thinking about The Matrix. Since it's free on Amazon Prime right now. If I pay for Amazon Prime, but you get what I'm saying. Get what I'm, what I'm laying down. Okay, we're good with the cards. So let's gather them up. These are promissory notes that we'll probably never use in my lifetime. These are racial specific. Agenda cards, which we will never use. Promissory notes. And these are these stupid, stupid leaders, or representatives. We are also never going to use. So put these on the big old stacks, put them all in the baggy, and then call it a day. Move on to more fun things. Normally I keep these in the, with the races, but I'm not gonna play with them. It's just that many more things that don't need to be on the table, and we're already at almost 40 minutes of record time. Holy jeez! Which means I got to speed it up or stop the recording. These, these, and these are going away, away, along with. Treaties. So prelim objectives, oh and scenario objectives. So prelim, specials, public objectives, those are really the only decks we're going to be using. Which is good, see that's a lot better. These can just go in a bag and get all the air taken out of the bag and then we don't have to think about them again. We'll put them in the wormholes bag 
wormholes because it's like they're going into a wormhole, never to be seen, of, seen from again for as long as we both shall live until death do us part. Okay, these go in the box of rejects, which is the bottom of the shards shirt, of the throne. Along with the Lazax, we're not going to be using them. It goes in that box. It's like the, um, with the Land of Misfit toys from the, that Rudolph, Rudolph cartoon. Okay, what next? Refineries, colonies, Plurilim and secret objectives, um, public objectives, stage one, public objectives, stage two, special objectives which are artifacts. These are the action cards. These are the politics cards. All that sounds awesome. Now, last thing to do before we're done with the cards is check to see if there's any home systems that snuck aboard that stowed away on the planets. seen it yet. We're about halfway through. I see one of those uh, facility dudes. Oh, Mole Primus, which is one of the Mentax. Looks weird. Primor? I don't even know what the fuck's going on there. Aha, we have Joel from Joel and Nar. Oh, and there's Nar from Joel and Nar. So Joel and Nar got mixed up. And then we have Retilion, which is the Yar oh, and Shaluk, which are the Yarsil tribes. Starting planets. Alright. Extracted all the stowaways from the planet deck. Now, let's get these suckers all in the box. Let's see if they'll all fit this one box. If they do, that would be most excellent. I'm a little worried about that because there's a crap ton. We might make it. Ooh, we might make it with just a perfect amount. It'll be just as tiniest of the tiniest squeeze. Look at that. It shook the camera, it's so heavy. Fit all the cards we're playing with in that box. Nice. Let's do the blizzard test. Okay, we're good. Next, let's lay out the strategy cards. Let's find out we'll find the ones we're playing with and get rid of the ones we're not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So obviously there is what we're not playing with here. And then after that we got the tokens. Oh, there's the shock troops. I found the shock troops. Ready? Woo! And we I just got two big milestones, so let's dump out another big bag. We got these guys too. Fuckers. That little fucker there. Now. There you go. Okay. Now. What's next? Next is the fact that it's almost nine o'clock, which means I don't want to be doing this the entire goddamn night. Playing with those. No, 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 no. Imperial 2, so trade. No.
Okay. These are the eight strategy cards we are going to be playing with. We have leadership, diplomacy, assembly, production, trade, warfare, technology, and imperial dose. Those are the strategy cards we're going to be using. Next, we have speaker token, which we need. Okay, and then shock troops. These are those upgraded ground units that we will, in fact, be using. They can take over PDS and space dock uh, units on enemy plants uh, in which they participate in a successful invasion combat, as well as um, uh, doing good or in battle. They hit on I think five rather than eight. The downside is they can never be by themselves, which is kind of a strange rule. So if they're ever alone, Without another friendly ground force to use, and they are uh, cast out to to the depths. Just put them in this little this little cubby hole here. Okay, so we have all of our extra ground force and uh, space fighter units there. I know we got enough. Finish organizing and um, there's a triple fighter deal, a ground force deal here. We're gonna do it right. Absolutely, are playing with. We're playing with distant suns in space. Oh, and then we have the guardians of Mechatol, which we are absolutely playing with, and our artifacts. I don't remember the rules regarding how many artifacts we start with, so I'm just going to throw them all in the same pile. What I do have to do is separate the um, separate the shit from the shit, the bullshit from the donkey shit. Racial specific. All right, so we have our D10s. That's a start. So we are playing with space mines this time, which is going to be super neat. Actually, I'm really excited to play with space mines. This sounds like a lot of fun. The problem with wanting to start a movie is that I'm not going to be able to start this guy until 11 o'clock, which is too late to start a movie. Okay, so we're doing Distant Suns in Space, and we are not doing Distant Suns on the ground. So we're going to the ground, we're going to relegate those. I'm not going to send them off to the land of misfit toys because I do like them. And I do want to play with them at some point in the future. It's just this next game is not, not the time to do that. So let's grab all of them. I'm thinking territorial distance zones will be the next leap that we take. Because that's a little bit more friendly to expanding and isn't so suffocating. We have a Ghosts of Creuse wormhole. So many of these little guys. Another ghost of Chris. Oh, we have uh, space mines. Uh, what the fuck? We got wormholes for days. So many wormholes. Wormholes on wormholes on wormholes. Okay, so here's all the space distant suns, which we are going to be playing with. There's these Creus dudes, which we're not any playing with. This sucker. I feel like I saw an artifact. 
there. So a little bit in there. He's gonna go with Cruz. Um, Warfare token and we guardians. Oh, we got some good Looks like we can all fit. Boom. Making progress. These distant sounds are going away. Same with same with those mercenaries. So these distant sounds are going in the reject box. Hello, Bilixi Wicks. Welcome to my night of organizing a bunch of cardboard shit. Try to read the chat window. It's way over there. Yes, I did put it on Twitter about halfway through, which was my first mistake. And my second mistake was I didn't do any tagging, nor did I even link to it. I just said go search, which right there I am assuming people are actually going to go over to Twitch and type something in on their keyboard, which they're obviously not going to do. So I did some poor planning. Ooh, but I did record this as well, so this is going to go up on YouTube afterwards. So. Like I said on Twitter, people can watch an OCD guy organize a really, really complicated game. Which is going to get a ton of views, let me tell you. Okay, so I have all these strategy cards that I'm not using. I need a bag to put them in. These are going in the what I'm calling the Land of Misfit Toys. With Rudolph and all the other broken... Shits. Okay, next. I think we're almost ready. Oh, we have a tray good towel. So the tray good towel's going here. I don't have room for them. The trade good towels are chips are gonna go there and there. So these are all ready to go, I believe. So these are gonna go into the big oh, oh my nebula. My nebula got lost. Okay, Nebula's going over with that. Okay. I think we're ready now to continue our effort to sort the races and get all the racial specific stuff in their bags. I got about a quarter of the way through it and then decided to abandon it, abandon it because it was really boring for my whole viewing audience of two, or one, I should say, counting me. So now I'm back to it because there's, I'm almost done, which is awesome. So we'll go some Cruise, get those tiles again. They have their two starting system. The Ghosts of Cruise are pretty cool. They start out here in like a, you have to use a wormhole, a warp point, just to even get to their home system. Which is pretty rad, so they start outside the board, then you warp into the map, and then you can expand from there. So they come with some extra warp points. Probably for their racial tech, I'm assuming. Okay. So, haha, -ha, look at this. We got our... That. We got the two trade agreements. Reference sheet. The Hill Kolish, which is their um, flagship. We got the Cruise, which is their strategy system. And we have three liters, so this cruise is good. Next, we have the Winyu. I know I saw some Winyu stuff in the pile over there. So let's see, we have our starting system, which is surprise Winyu. 
we have our two racial techs, we have our two trade agreements, we should have a reference card, and a flagship, and then our three leaders. Let's see the leaders here, so let's start getting them. This is because we were playing with this race last game and I had leaders stripped out and I'm adding them back in, so that's why I need to start finding them now. Our leaders. The Winu is ready to go. I have a feeling I know who's going to be this one because the same person that was the Winu last time and really liked them uh, were dealt with them again. So I have a feeling for consistency's sake and learning, that person will choose the Winu. Alright, we have the Barony of Letnev, which was played by Brandon last time, I think. Shame he's not coming. Alright, so we got our two trade agreements. We have racial tech, five ship, and we just need our three leaders for the barony. One, two, three. This <laughs> is more than 51 minutes of recording time, which is crazy. Oh, I have three when you flags. I don't know why they ended up outside of next the arborek. I have a feeling I just need to grab. I think actually the leaders are in here. You never know. For the sake of completeness, we got our reference card. We have our. Two racial techs, two trade agreements, one system and flagship, and three leaders. We're good there. Apparently you're asked to go boating tomorrow again, which seems super awesome. I think you definitely should. Why would why on earth would you say no to an invitation like that? Sounds really cool. Are you gonna say yes, Blixy Wits? Yay or nay? The world needs to know. And this is the platform for telling the world. Huh. Blixy Wits. If Blixiewix needs to park, Blixiewix has money on Blixiewix's credit card to go to park. And Omega 14 will check on Blixiewix's um, <laughs> the status of said card when he is done streaming. We should talk in code, like the the, there's a, a war, we'll check what planet is on the other side of the rift and I'll look into and find out how many planets are beyond the rift when I am done with this I have a feeling there's about 30 planets on the other side of that rift Maybe 32 planets. Not sure exactly. Okay, so we are at the Nalu Collective. Actually, I think shit. I think um, the Nalu. That's who Marcus was last time. Intact. These guys that have the most stuff outside. Obviously, the trade agreements that we have. More Primus. That. 
looking for a racial tech. I'm looking for the flagship. And then we need the Mentax leaders. Next, the Lizix. The Lizix got some crap in here. I don't see the Lizix starting system either. Eh. I have a question for Blixiewix. Is the is the planet is the home colony of the planet in a peaceful state, or is the colony in an or is the colony in an uprising? That's the question of the hour. Is whether or not there is an uprising or whether or not it is peaceful. We will see. To trade contracts, to racial tech. We have a flagship and a reference card. We just need to find a home system. And we need their leaders. There's the leaders. Home system. It's going to be in the stack somewhere. It's mind the net. So there we are. You found them. So we are actually running low on races. So that means we're almost done. The embers of Muat, who have the ability to turn any planet into a supernova, so they have a supernova card. Looking for we have the system, we have the first attack, that's it. Tribes and Jolnar. Jolnar. All this crap is in one bag. And that's not how the rest of it is done. Tribes. What am I doing over here? Yeah, you're still trying over here on the Lizix. 
Separate the plastic units from the cardboard pieces since the cardboard pieces stay with the race and then the purple units will not be used for anyone. Drives here to this bag, so nice. Oh, I'm going to get this. Down to the final little bit here on the stretch. And separate the green. Damn it. And separate the plastic from the race.
bonus counters, which we're gonna use the bonus counters for the strategy cards that are unchosen. Whenever someone doesn't pick a strategy card, they get the bonus counter on it. And then whoever gets the bonus counter gets, I think, a free trade good or something else. Or a choice of either something or something else uh, when they pick that card. All right, we're getting down to the end. Now we're going to start putting uh, tech in the colored bags. colors that I uh, didn't have I had in my other game I'm developing. To give them people options, I will provide all of the colors. systems left and I don't think there's much to do there I think I should stack them up and put them in the box but I did want to I did want to set up a sample map so that I could photograph some stuff Okay, that's basically it for now. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, to watch a dork um, organize more shit, you can uh, tune in later. But for now, uh, thank you very much, and we'll catch you later. All right, bye-bye.